Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about two important Java entry questions. What is the purpose of wait, notify, notify all methods? You know, the wait, notify, notify all methods are in the class object, object class. And it is used to provide an efficient way for threads to communicate each other. So thread 1 can communicate to thread 2 using these two, these three methods. It is efficient, efficiently you can use for thread communication. What are the high level thread states? The high level thread states are ready, running, waiting and dead. So whenever you create a thread using new of thread and passing the runnable object, you are creating a thread. And whenever a start method is called, it goes to the ready state. And ready means it is not running, it just ready. It is in the ready state. So JV it is up to JVM thread scheduler to move from ready state to running state. So when the CPU cycle is available, it will be moved to ready to run running state. That means run method is executed. And whenever your sleep method is called or you are reading some IO, you are doing some IO operation, it will be it will go to the blocked. And if you are waiting for any object lock or something, you can you will be in waiting state. Again you will go to ready state and it's up to JVM thread, thread scheduler to move you from ready to running state. Once your run method is completed, you will be moved to dead state. This is the final state. And once it is dead, you can't restart your thread again. Otherwise, you will be getting a illegal thread state exception. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. Thank you.